I might not be an expert hunter or long range shooter, I do have some experience in the field and have a passion for all things that go pew. Now, Wooks is a company I am very familiar with. They specialize in classy yet futuristic rifle chassis systems and stocks. Several months back, I received a Wooks Furioso rifle chassis, which I equipped to my Bergara B1465 Creedmoor. The chassis is absolutely stunning with their aluminum and walnut composition. The Furiosa was also extremely functional with its built-in reinforced M-lock and adjustable cheek riser and recoil pad that don't require tools to manipulate. The downside is this chassis does come in at a whopping 4.8 pounds. However, for a precision build, weight wasn't an issue for me and slapped on the B1465 Creedmoor, which also had some heft to it. The result is a Space Cowboy rifle that was excellent contender for long range shooting. The price tag for the Furiosa is also $1,099 at a starting point. Recently, Wooks reached out and offered for me to review their ultra lightweight stock called the Super Lejara. The Super Lejara is Wooks's answer to a field and hunting rig that doesn't break the bank and comes in only at 2.1 pounds depending on accessories such as the bottom metal and the adjustable cheek riser option and natural density variations from the American walnut wood used. The Super Lejara is able to achieve this weight by swapping out the 7075 hardco anodized aluminum chassis with a carbon reinforced nylon chassis that is honeycombed. They're also able to maintain that beautiful walnut furniture while keeping things lightweight. Let's go live quick and talk about some of the unique features that set this stock apart from the rest. All right, so let's talk about some of the features of this stock and some things I didn't really notice until getting some rounds behind it. So first, let's start with the construction. You do have a composite stock and then you have walnut um, accenting and walnut furniture on. The look is absolutely beautiful. Um, you have some stippling right here where your hand's gonna make contact with the stock. You have a smooth comb over the top and then you have a recoil pad right here. You have a little more texturing right down here where your other hand's gonna make contact with the rifle. Right up here front is really cool. You have a four slot pick rail, so you can mount a Picatinny type bipod if you want. You have two M-lock slots on the side. Right here on the bottom, right behind this pick rail, you have a QD sling point right over here. So you have multiple different uses, which is awesome because I love QD slings. Um, whether you wanna mount your bipod to the Picatinny right here, very well thought out. Now, obviously, I mean, I wasn't very concerned when I got this. I didn't really understand what it was, but I saw it had the shape of a hunting stock. So I was pretty stoked on that because the other Wooks furniture I have is a chassis, but it's got some, it's got some heft to it. So it's not something you're gonna wanna haul around. This is absolutely light. It feels a tad lighter than the Bergara stock that came with this rifle. Now to make it all better, the rifle that I put it on is the Bergara B14, and this is the carbon version, so it's got that carbon fiber barrel. This right here is my Rex Silentium MG7K suppressor. My intention with this is this is my hunting rifle setup, so I don't think I'm actually gonna permanently mount a bipod to it. There's a couple reasons why somebody might want to consider changing out the rifle stock. One of them being is, so let's say you got yourself some kind of Remington 700, you got yourself a new rifle but you're not a fan of the ergonomics, but you love the action, you love the trigger, um, you love the features. This one right here, this is the Bergara B14 Carbon. It's got a carbon fiber barrel, very nice trigger, great bolt, great action in general. Um, now, I don't mind the Bergara stocks. I think they're very functional. However, I do have a Wooks chassis on my 6.5 Creedmoor, and that thing, is awesome. It's very heavy though, it's got some weight to it. That's not really meant to be a hunting type stock. So Wooks reached out to me and they have this guy right here. This is their ultra lightweight hunting stock. Now this particular stock is built on the Remington 700 style rifle or clones. So this is a Bergara B14, which is a Remington 700 style rifle. So it fits perfectly with the stock. You know, maybe they're not a fan of the stock and they want different ergonomics, something that's a little more suited for their fit. It's not necessarily one size fits all. Um, another reason of course is looks. This thing just looks so good with the walnut and the black composite, fantastic. And then of course, uh, weight. Some stocks are a lot heavier than others. Now the Bergara stock that I replaced wasn't that heavy to begin with. However, 
Of course, I'm gonna put this thing on it because it just looks so dang cool. One thing I want you guys to notice is on this stock, I have what's called the bottom metal. Uh, Wooks sent that as well. Now this rifle had an internal magazine, meaning there's no detachable box magazine like this AICS style mag right here. But when you add the bottom metal, you essentially take off that plate for the internal magazine and then you put on this bottom metal. Now this entire stock and rifle are held together by two bolts, that's it, just two bolts. One right here and then one right behind the trigger guard. So you replace this bottom metal, now I can take my box magazine and feed the rifle. I have a little more capacity, not too bad. Now the question is, do you necessarily need the bottom metal to make this stock work? No, you don't. You can use your existing uh, plate that's on there already. However, I wanted to turn this into a rifle with a magazine and this was the perfect opportunity to do it. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I have new Mr. Big Kid merch. So I started partnering up with TriStar Trading. If you guys know Johnny B, that's his company and um, I am one of their new influencers on TriStar Trading. So if you guys wanna support the channel and get some awesome Mr. Big Kid t-shirts, he's got some really cool designs on there, including this one, just a good old channel logo. It's the first time I had official merch. So if you guys are looking to uh, support the channel, by all means, head on over to TriStar Trading and get you one. Some additional features are the texturing on the walnut where it counts, Everywhere your hand touches is textured for a superior grip, and the forend is a nice and thin and carved flat to reduce torque. The Wook stock is crafted in Italy and in the USA and comes at a starting price of $699. The model with the adjustable cheek riser is $799, and the Hawkins M5 detachable bottom metal is an additional $149. No, however, the bottom metal is typically not needed, but is a great addition to the package. As usual, I'm impressed with the quality, function, and looks of the Super Lajara. It's a sexy stock and brings back the classic feel and looks of walnut while maintaining the edgy styling and functionality of a modern rifle. One thing to note as well is the stock does not make any contact with the barrel. This helps in keeping the rifle accuracy true without interfering forces affecting the accuracy like a bipod or pressure on the forend. All right guys, that's it, the Wooks Super Lajara. It's a fancy stock, it's lightweight, uh, it's got some cool accessories, it's functional, and of course my favorite, QD sling points built right into the stock so you don't have to add loops or swivels or anything like that. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys haven't, please make sure you're subscribed to this channel. People have told me they haven't seen or didn't realize that I've been putting videos out, which I have. By subscribing to this channel, you guys are showing YouTube that it's a channel worth watching and it might trick that algorithm to actually push some gun content out there. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.